All right, from around the league to back here with the XL fam, Randy is here. He's helping us share all the good stories this season. So what do you have for us today? Well, the Pistons were in town preseason, so I thought good opportunity to talk to Stanley Johnson. Stanwell, as he's affectionately known. Um, I asked him off camera, uh, do you call your coach Stan Van Gundy Stanwell? He said no. Okay. Uh, but what I did know, find out about him was he's just a young, nice, mature man. And especially since he's gone through so many tough times of his life with, with his mother passing away. But yeah, that's just what stood out with him. He's just such a good guy. Right. And, and I'm rooting for him this year because of how much work he's put in to get to this point. All right, let's hear his story. The guys who do it every night consistently are the guys that are the best players in the league. And now in my third year, I kind of understand it more that every night, every day, at night when you sleep, when you're off the court, when you're on the court, you have to be consistent with every little thing to be consistent in the game, which is a big thing. Um, so having that knowledge now in my third year, I think is probably the most fruitful thing I have. I worked smarter. Um, I, I moved around a little bit. I went to, went to Santa Barbara to train with P3. I had my trainer that I trained with in, 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 uh, in high school. My first trainer started training me. Um, and then I was with the co I talked to the coaches a bunch about what I'm gonna be doing in the offense according to next year. And obviously no coach can tell you in April of the following year what he's gonna do in November or October of this year. But just on how he views my game, just about where he sees me and where I'm going, he, he came to watch me at least once or twice a month. Oh, beautiful lead bounce pass. Now back home, Ralph, you feel comfortable. You want to put on a show for the fans. Everything was trying to gear toward how I could help myself in the offense, how I could help myself in the defense. And I think through the work I did this summer, I feel like I was I'm more prepared than ever to fill an opening, an opportunity role that I have on this team. Man, it was just a really good game for myself. Um, you know, I, I started coming t two years ago now, and Mike was like, let's play. Let's play a showcase game. You know, all these people are coming out to the championship game. There's no pros in the game, um, but a couple. Let's play. People want to see it. Um, and we ended up playing, and it got super, super competitive. And I, I just remember, like, I remember I, remember I had, like, 20-something at half, and the third quarter was just, like, I was going, 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 and the start of the third, it was like, Stanley has 64. I was like, dang, I can get like 70, 75. And then I got to 70, like quick, and I was like, I can get to 80. I got to 80, like I, with two or three minutes left, and I got to 86 at the end. Um, best part is winning, you know. Drake and Nico, they're all, they're, all, they're all on the sideline. Well, you don't win, it doesn't mean anything. You don't win, it doesn't mean anything, so. That was extra motivation to get the last couple points. When the ball's going in that much, it's almost like the basket's like this big, you know, and you're throwing like a pebble into the ocean. Um, but, you know, I was getting to the basket a lot. I was getting to the line a lot. Um, so I make my threes. And I said it before, when I'm making jump shots, it's hard for people to stay in front of me. With the eighth pick in the 2015 NBA draft, the Detroit Pistons select Stanley Johnson from the University of Arizona. My mom always told me um, from when I was younger that she wanted to see me get drafted. Um, and I'm, I'm a Christian man, um, and I think for what what she asked for, she she ended up getting. And it wasn't like you know we never thought to ask for more from you know. So um, she was that's the happiest ever I've ever seen her um, draft night, and she was with me the whole night. Mom played professionally in Italy. She really developed him as a young player. Formed his AAU team that he played on as a kid. She was the first person to put a basketball in my hand. She taught me how to be competitive, how to treat basketball with respect and stuff like that. And she always put me around good coaches and good players to level up that. And I think the bond we have at basketball was just something that helped us get closer to each other. A lot of memories that we have is from driving across the country to, to basketball games or driving four hours to Vegas for a basketball tournament every summer. My mom gave everything she could to me um, as, a, as a man, as a, as a boy growing up. So. I mean, I feel like every day I have to prove, make her happy, um, even though she's not here. So every day I go out and it's my, that's what keeps me going most of the time. It's just, I gotta keep improving, keep improving, keep improving. I don't wanna set an uh, expectation for myself that's too low. Um, I'm a very confident guy um, and I, I'm all about my work ethic. So I put everything I had into it. I'm putting everything I have into it. If I'm here, if I'm there, I'm happy regardless because I know I put everything I have into it. But I think it's gonna be really, really good. Don't stop. <laughs> Don't stop. Yeah, I mean, so what? You got punched in the mouth last year. You're on the floor. You just gonna lay down there, get up, and start keep fighting. And that's who I am. I'm gonna keep fighting.